Two men have been arrested. Local media in Angola is reporting that these men were found close to the site of uh, Friday's deadly attack against the Togo team. And here in Johannesburg, one of the victims of uh, that attack, 25-year-old Kojovi Obilale, who is uh, the goalkeeper for the Togo team, is being treated in one of the hospitals here, Mill Park Hospital. He uh, was shot in the lower back and he's currently in the intensive care unit of the hospital on a ventilator, heavily sedated. Another uh, member of uh, the Togo team was supposed to be treated here in Johannesburg, but Jonathan, we're told that he died before he could be uh, evacuated. John? Now, the Togolese president is speaking out, saying that the government of, Uganda, of Angola, forgive me, shouldn't have scheduled games in Cabinda. There shouldn't have been matches there because of the obvious threat to security. Did the government ignore evident, obvious signs that there might be trouble? You know, Jonathan, even before the attack on Friday, questions were being asked about why Cabinda is a host venue for the Africa Cup of Nations. It is well known that Fleck, the group that has claimed responsibility for the attack, uh, has been waging a war against the government of Angola for over three decades. Uh, Fleck is fighting for independence. It, it sees itself, the movement sees uh, Cabinda as an occupied territory and the Angolan troops as an occupying force. Uh, so people were asking why send uh, international uh, uh, football players to such an unstable area. Now, there are some analysts who believe that the government of Angola was trying to make some kind of political statement and it was a political decision. But of course, uh, whatever the motive, uh, uh, it backfired in the end, Jonathan, obviously.